Claus is coming to town. Violence Night. Who would have thought that creating a movie that includes Santa bashing in bad guys' heads with a sledgehammer on Christmas Eve would work so well? Man, this movie was crazy. Before we start, this is a spoiler-free review, but I will reference the trailer slightly. Now, let's begin. I just want to start off by saying this movie was awesome. This is far from your typical holiday Christmas movie. The story begins on Christmas Eve, and Santa has a busy night in front of him. But, little does he know, it's going to consist of a bit more than just eating cookies and delivering presents. I thought that it would end up being just another Christmas movie with a violent twist added to it with a few corny jokes here and there. But it surprised me by having what I consider as the perfect blend of violence, comedy, with a bit of seriousness when necessary. Does it have the most original storytelling or the funniest jokes? No. In fact, a lot of the jokes will come off as corny since they're just Christmas phrases that are turned into jokes. And the story isn't anything that you probably haven't already seen before. I even thought the main villain's reason for hating Christmas was laughable. But you know what? None of that matters because it's one of the most entertaining holiday movies that I've seen in years and it matches the tone that they were going for. I personally enjoyed the route that they took with this movie. What could have easily been another Christmas dud turned into a roller coaster ride that kept me on the edge of my seat, especially when the action sequences started, which didn't take long at all to happen. Now, besides wondering if this movie is going to be worth seeing, I know that many of you want to know if the movie lives up to its title, Violent Night. And I'm here to inform you that not only does it live up to the name, but it surpasses it. This movie is definitely not your family-friendly Christmas movie that you can watch with the kids or even grandma. It is extremely violent and gory. And that's coming from a big fan of movies like Logan, Deadpool, and John Wick. Not only was it a violent, gory adventure, but a lot of these sequences were very creative. You can tell that some of the fighting sequences were influenced by other well-known movies, yet these scenes remain unique to this movie. For instance, one of my favorite scenes from the movie is actually inspired by Home Alone. This scene was so brilliant that it delighted the child in me and had the adult me wanting to see even more. With that being said, there are a good amount of scenes that will have you a bit uneasy. But that's what you want from a movie of this caliber. I do have to take some time and say that the cast did a great job. But the star of the movie has to go to David Harbour. Man, was he a joy to watch as Santa. He did such a fantastic job at the role that I would love to see sequels of him playing this role again in the future. He was made for this role. He has always been good at balancing comedy and seriousness in his role, but this role complemented him so well. And I enjoyed the dynamic between him and the little girl throughout the movie. These moments were some of the most memorable ones because you'll see some of the more serious undertones, which felt earned because of the bond that they formed. I found myself being very engaged in these serious moments because of the build up and how they were executed. Overall, this movie checks off everything that I love about a Christmas movie. And yes, I know that many of you may end up thinking that this is just another action movie with Santa in it. And you're right in a lot of ways. However, this just didn't feel like another action movie during this almost two hour runtime. I can actually say that it put me in the Christmas spirit. And it's not just because I kept seeing Santa as he beat up and executed bad guys. The movie utilized the Christmas theme well by showing the audience what Christmas is actually about while also adding its own twist to it. I enjoyed myself from beginning to end, and this is coming from a lover of both action movies and Christmas movies. This definitely gets a pickup when it gets released on 4K. Therefore, this movie gets my a casually must-see rating. 
But I want to hear from you all. Have you watched Violent Night yet? Or are you planning on it? And if you've seen it already, what are your thoughts on it? Did it put you in the Christmas spirit? Let's discuss it all in the comment section. But make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, let's keep it casual.